Thursday. Uh, it's about 12.15 in the morning. I'm actually on my way to go lift this morning. Get a workout in. I missed it out yesterday. Just kind of let my body take a priority for me yesterday. I uh, got some rest. Ate well. Um, not saying that I didn't do any work yesterday. I went to my full-time job. I came home. I came home and did a little bit of rise work. Um, had a great meeting with my mentor, Mr. Griffin, and uh, his son, Griffin Jr. Uh, they are really key my path and road to success. Um, I really enjoy whenever I talk to Mr. Griffin. I, I really enjoy. Yesterday was my first meeting with uh, Griffin Jr. Uh, he is a, a a young entrepreneur of uh, my age. Young uh, young man that's really making making people notice him and a light that I can see myself being noticed in. A light of being, you know, reliable. Definitely a guy that they can work with. It's just, it's, it's just, I, I can admire the steps that they've taken to take their business to another level. So I want to definitely have a routine because I hear a lot about routine, routine, routine. If you want to be successful, you want to have, you want to have a routine. A routine to a lot of successful people are how you kind of cut down on a lot of stress, and you know, you just. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the routine is for. Um, they say it's definitely key to have a routine, so I'm going to. Try it. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try to have a routine. So I get off work at 10. I'll go home and work rise until about five. And that'll give me time to you know de-escalate from that work day, enjoy time with the loved ones. And I guess eat dinner, chit chat, talk with the loved ones, and get ready for bed around 8.39, 39 o'clock. And I wake up at about 12, 11.45, 12, and go work out. And I think that that's a great, that's a great way to start it. Uh, I probably leave the gym around 1.20, 30 to make it to work at 2 a.m. and we start all over again. So, I mean, you guys kind of keep me on, keep me focused, keep me on my toes. Uh, I'll do what I can do on this end and let's see where this takes us. I think we can definitely, I think I can definitely get it done. I think I can definitely make improvement in my life and my body if I'm on a routine and if I can get this routine thing together I know for sure um, I can do anything because I think discipline is a big very 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 big part of being a successful entrepreneur is having discipline have a discipline understanding first step is understanding that you don't have discipline and finding a way to obtain it finding a way to really sit down and understand and read books or do research on how to be disciplined in yourself because it's okay to be disciplined with other people and to hold them accountable but how are you able to hold yourself accountable can you do it for yourself so that's my thing that is my new thing for my journey doing rise and you know See y'all when I see y'all. It's probably after the gym on my way to work.
Yo, yeah, so I'm back at the gym. I just figured to, it just kind of hit me just to talk to you guys about just understanding your body, man. Um, I feel like I'm very in tune with my body. I do understand that a lot of the time we are working and we fail to realize that our body is tearing down in the process. Like it, it takes a little bit before you can start realizing it, but I feel like at the stage that I'm in, I've played sports and I've had time to sit down and just understand, like feel my body. It's like, yeah, we don't, your body will tell you when you're not feeling right. You'll see these doctors and you'll see these health gurus on the internet, like tell you, listen to your body when you have aches and pains and things like that going on, your body's telling you, hey, something's not right. Man, listen to your body. Regular doctor's appointments for men and women, even your children, like make sure that you guys are staying on course with your health. Your health is what's gonna then propel you to be a successful entrepreneur as well. I can't stress the fact of the reason why I continue to play basketball sometimes is because it helps my health, it helps my body. Though, at times I do get injured and I do sometimes, you know, walk away limping from it. I just understand that just the cardio, the the competitive nature in my, in my spirit and who I am, it keeps me going. It definitely keeps me going. It keeps me, it keeps me going out during doing the entrepreneurship because I know that there are people out there that are doing what I'm doing. There are sports where brands out there that are, you got some on now. Shout out to Nike. Uh, just understanding that I will be at that level. Just understanding to myself that, yeah, this journey is going to be tough and I'm going to get a lot of no's before I get yeses. And I thank God that I'm able to understand my my journey and that people aren't going to automatically be accepted. Well, you know what? I don't want to speak things like that into existence. So I'm definitely very open to God opening doors for me and people telling me yes. Like, yeah, no, no problem. That would be a great idea. Or, yeah, I would love to have your brand in my store. Yeah, I would love to love to be a part of something like that. So, and I also, just a segue into that, I also believe in speaking things into existence, manifesting things into existence. Um, there was a young lady by the name of, I guess my generation, by the name of B. Simone. Everybody kind of knows her from that, uh, she was on uh, the TV show Wild and Out on, I think it's VH1 or MTV or something like that. But she just had a series of her own that was just kind of letting people know, hey, you need to manifest what you want. Shout out B. Simone. You just understand like, hey, I want to speak into existence of what I want. And I'm going to put the work in for what I want. So just understanding that what you speak on your product and on your business is what could come about. You just have to put the work in. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, oh yeah, you're just blowing smoke up your own butt, but it's understanding that, yeah, I could possibly one day do this. I can do this. I just have to put the work in. And I just understand that more and more each day that I always sometimes get to in, in moments to where I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to do this still, it's hard. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to speak that on myself. But I want to definitely understand that whatever comes out of my mouth is success, it's positive. Because whatever you speak into the universe or whatever you give, whatever you give God, he gives you back. So it just takes work. That's really what it is. It takes work and it takes a lot of dedication and 
and discipline to be able to get to where you want to be. And that's where I am now. I'm getting to the point to where I'm getting more discipline in what I should be doing. I'm ringing ears. I'm talking to people. I'm just reaching out. And I feel like I'm getting positive feedback with what I'm doing. And I'm loving it. Like even the downs, I'm loving it. Even the no's, I love the no's. I'm gonna be even more excited with the yeses. So just understand that I'm enjoying, you have to enjoy your, your journey. You have to enjoy your journey, you have to. Because that's what make things better for you in the long run, if you enjoy it. I should be on a journey. Try to lose a little weight. Get some things done that I need to get done with my body. Cause I've been trying to cut certain weight and do certain things with my body. Just so you know I can feel better. Wake up feel better. I ain't gonna lie. I really been low-key trying to get back to playing basketball for real. Like I play every now i'm in regular playing shape but as far as me playing playing with a more of a com competitive a more competitive spirit and just in general that's what i've been trying to do for real on the low but rise has definitely give me a reason to just understand that what i'm doing is is a greater cause it's a greater cause of what i'm doing this brand is going to definitely just take off for me and the world is going to be able to benefit off of my story and I know the crazy thing about it is I've been doing my vlogs but I haven't really told you guys my story so get ready for the story <laughs> get ready for the story and understand that this journey is not over and I think when you understand my story I think you'll be able to understand me a little bit more Yeah, man, fall in love with the process, everything. Fall in love with the process. That's really a big thing for you guys, to be able to fall in love with the process. To be able to get a lot of things done, how you want to get done. It's 1.30, I'm at my time. It's time for me to go. Get ready for work. All right, done with the workout. On my way to work, it is now 1.48. I'm on my way to the full-time job at ITL Solution. Workout was good, I mentioned it earlier, but uh, I'm really, 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 I feel good. My legs are a little, little shaky, legs are a little shaky, but uh, it's a good feeling to know that you kind of put in the work this morning and still able to make it to where you need to make it one time. So, headed to work and I shall probably stop by the store, grab me something to rehydrate my body, get my muscles together, and I will career journey.